All right, here we go. Got both these whirlwinds set up in the front and we'll just take a quick look at them while the lighting's still cooperating. I'm not gonna open them up out here. I'll do that inside. I just wanna give a good look at both of them in the natural lighting. Start with the original, with the original play field.
All right, got these inside and we'll take a look at them opened up. It was, I had to silence the video. It, it, when you take something outside and try to, to make a video of it, it's tough. Because dogs start barking, airplanes are flying, people are, people are cutting their grass. So I just had to put it on silence, but hopefully I gave you a decent walk around. Inside, pretty much true to the original, uh, for the original game. Had to replace the speakers in both because it just most of the stuff I'm getting is this old dry rotted speakers. Original tilt bob style setup. A little bit of reinvented wiring and wire holders. Just hard not to want to do that. It's just better, you know. Better is just better. And it's branded appropriately. I couldn't come up with the proper spin and disc decal. There might be one out there. I couldn't find one. I thought about getting one for an Adams family. I got that and maybe putting it on there. But I thought, well, these are both pretty clean and the brackets look good. I'll just leave them as they are. So that's the inside of the original game. Inside the Total Chaos, it's labeled just a little bit differently, a little bit more modern style labeling. I did have a custom serial tag made up for that. Just it says HEP Total Chaos 1 because it's the only one I built. I did brand the inside of the cabinet normally. I don't normally actually brand the cabinets at all occasionally i will but uh usually if it's something really custom and that of course is this so it's done it's done the right orientation modern style tilt bob that volume pot is kind of worthless you could plug it in though i have the plug tied to the side but i have a, a direct volume knob on the board for this now if i'd have thought about or known that i was going to do that when I built it, I probably would have just left it out entirely, but it's there. It could be made functional. Everything's nickel plated, a little bit cleaner wiring on this one, a little bit more elevated. And branded upside down. Doesn't look bad that way, it's just upside down and kind of does two things. First of all, it lets me know I didn't clear it. And second of all, kind of ties into the total chaos theme if you think about it. It's like even the branding is upside down, so nothing about it is quite right. All right, so I think we're good there. I should get the boards uh, or the replacement board either tomorrow or, or maybe the next day. And once I have the replacement board and I have it in place and everything's working, then we'll do the gameplay videos. And in the meantime, you know, we'll call it good here. And I'll be focused on this Rocky that you see over there in the background.